Okay, hello everybody and welcome to a new episode. Yeah, today we're gonna continue with the story. An exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No, he was thrown in! Okay, there she is in these ones. On to battle! We found our murderer! More fools than Helipes! Came hunting me down, did you? It seems that way. You're in my way! You little! One, two! You're in my way! You little! For one! Hey! You little! For one! See this? For one! You're in my way! Until I have my revenge. Revenge? 
the bastards at the guild who tried to kill me. They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. Wait, are you saying the whole guild was involved? Of course. <laughs> you think a second-rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is, our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point. And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. How do you mean to get this revenge of yours? The raid on Helavis. I'll kill the lot of them. This, I swear. That would be suicide. Do you have any idea how many exorcists are around? They'll hunt me down no matter what I do. I just want the guild to pay for what they did to me. That's all I wanted. But I guess even that's not gonna work out. Whoa. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. We'll take this back to town and tell him you're dead. That should be enough to satisfy the exorcists and get them to call off the search. But why? I have my reasons. We need a boat fixed for starters. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down. By the way, how on earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck. And a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see. Is this really how you want to play it? Listen, I'm being hunted too. It's only a matter of time. I can't afford sympathy. This is Dial's tale. Did you... Did you really kill him? We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like, but I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship, then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach, and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? We already done it. You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go! Hey! You don't need to be so pushy. That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on! Thank you. 
And that's how it's done. Get it? And uh... I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. Ah, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down. Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can. But we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. We just exit the town, huh? Hey, Velvet, do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah, I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. Somehow when I hit the wall, I, I cannot stop him and like Revit will feel so home in God Eater. Actually, this is maybe a band, I So to God Eater. I wonder, is it like a crossover, maybe DLC or something? Maybe I check up. She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. It'd be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Oh, Empyrean Nominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... 
My poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned Praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. Oh, I wasn't I forgot stowing the away, you twit! I merely boarded without permission! Ooh, that's gonna hurt. You! You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mugilu! Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him. That little witch. There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch? It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is onto us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Helavis. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. Well, it was nice to know you, Mogilu. Let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Mogilu. Rest in peace. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. We'll lend a hand with your raid. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous, aren't you? I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. Ah, oh, gods. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No, I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works. When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, Muffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was... Hold up! 
happy. It was terrible. Hey, come on. Let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. I know. <laughs> no, Lapisage! No! Listen to me! Artorius is... He's going to... <laughs> Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. Hmm. We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going then. <laughs> <laughs>